golfers, you can uh, see that movie. Even otherwise, I recommend you see that movie. And the golfer's name, the disciple, he's the disciple. And the caddy, you know who the caddy is? The guy who carries the golf clubs around. He's the guru, Will Smith. So the guru, his name is Bhagavans. Does it ring a bell? Bhagavan. And the golfer's name is Ranolf Jr. He's called R. Jr. for short. No prizes for guessing that. Arjuna. And this golfer is thinking of himself all the time. This is, with, this is what happens to us. You come across one little misfortune. One little thing goes wrong in your life and you're constantly feeling sorry for yourself, self-pity, thinking of yourself all the time. And at whatever little chance you have of getting over that problem is gone. That's what happened to him. So he's thinking of himself so much, he doesn't even see the ball. He's playing so badly that once when he goes and asks the caddy, which club do I use? He said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever you use, you're playing so badly, you lose. Then he goes and asks him. He says, what's going wrong? What do I have to do? And he says, Bhagavan says, there's a perfect shot waiting out there. There's perfection waiting within you. You don't have to look for it outside. It's all within you. All you got to do is get yourself out of the way. Get this thought of self out of the way. Just stop thinking of yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop worrying about yourself. And the excellence that is already in you will just flow effortlessly. That's all you have to do. The entire spiritual path is about how to get yourself out of the way. Simply eliminate. Press the delete button on yourself, on the thought of self. But you can't, you just can't let go. You hang on. I, I, I. Look at your conversation, record it. Now you all have cell phones, right? Mobile phones. All of them can record conversations. Just record it. When you're speaking to somebody and see how many times you use the word I, me, mine. Constantly you're talking about your illness, that's a favorite topic with people. Oh, you know, I got to, my foot is fractured and my head is something else. It's the contents of the head that are all wrong. And you don't even bother about whether the other person is interested in what you're talking. There's a lady in Delhi when she calls, she speaks for a minimum of 20 minutes. Hmm? So in the first three minutes, what you have to do is speak what you have to speak and then keep the phone down. It will go on. After 20 minutes, you say, okay, um, nice talking to you, bye. She doesn't even realize that you haven't been listening. It's obsession with yourself. So that's what it is. Think of yourself, you are discontent. Think of others. Therefore it is that we need to fix a higher goal. Think beyond yourself. And then you're excited. You're exhilarated. You're energized in life. Today, there is no energy in us. That's why you're constantly drinking cups of tea and coffee. Hmm? To give you that little boost. Caffeine boost. Otherwise, uh, uh, and dull. You see how people walk into offices. Huh? They should, well, the first thing in the morning you're going to office, you should be energetic. There should be a spring in your step. No. First of all, they're all late. At least one hour late. And those who come one hour late think they are on time. And then you drag your feet. And if you're supposed to work till six o'clock, by five o'clock you're busy winding up. So there's no interest in your work. There's no excitement at work because you're constantly thinking of yourself. Think of something beyond and see how exciting life becomes. So for now, we'll continue with verse 10. <clears throat> 